Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Cloud Sherpas. Hello everyone, welcome to video 10 of the top 10 Sherpa tips for email administration in the context of Google Apps. So today I'd like to talk about undeleting a user. So if you delete a user, you have five days. You have five days in which you might be able to go into the control panel and undelete the user. The reason why this five days is important is because um, that data associated with users, such as documents still in their name, calendar data, email data, for the most part, that's going to still be there for that five days, but after five days, it's purged permanently. You cannot get that data back. Now, so if you've made a mistake, you've accidentally deleted somebody, first thing that you're going to do is you're going to authenticate against admin.google.com and sign in as a super administrator. I have done so. So then you're going to go to users and make sure that in organization you're at the top level, you're not at any of the ch children, and you have this drop down. So you're going to select recently deleted users. And so what you do is, one, you have to make sure that first, nobody in this instance has recreated category.test at sherpatest.com because that would throw an error. Just like you can't create a nickname um, with the same email address as a user that already exists in your organization, you can't restore a user that has the same email address as an already active user. So keep that in mind. Also, you need to have enough licenses. If you don't have enough licenses, that will also throw an error. Um, so then, once you select that checkbox, and so long as those conditions have been met, you can hit Undelete User and then it's going to prompt you for whichever organization you want to add them to. So then that happens, and done. So it is not immediate, so keep that in mind. You do not want to get down to the wire regarding this. Do not try to do this at day four, hour 22, and try to restore a user because crossing fingers, it said it might take two hours. I'm, I would say you need to be more cautious just in case something goes wrong. It's also, I believe, there are disclaimers all over all the documentation regarding undeleting users. It's Google, they try to do their best to um, restore all the data that was associated with that user, but there is no guarantee. The best protection against losing that data is to not delete the user at all. So be careful regarding that. There are methods that you can use to safeguard that data such as transferring ownership of docs. That's going to be the biggest one. You can also archive that data, or archive email data in various ways. You can download and export of their calendar data. So Google Sites, you don't have to worry about that. If you delete the user and they own the sites, the site ownership defaults to the primary administrator on the domain, so you're safe there. But you need to have an offboarding process in place. That's pretty much it regarding that item. I hope that you found this useful, and I will talk to you later.